are waiting outside this uh, estate sale, tag sale, whatever. Um, I've never done one of these before where you register and you get a number. I don't know what that's about. But uh, they had some vintage comics, some vintage records. So hopefully we can get to them first. Uh, one of the comics was uh, Marvel Secret Wars number eight. The first appearance of the, you know, the Venom suit, the alien suit, which would later become Venom. So hopefully we can snag that. I asked the lady how much the comic books were. She said they were $4 and some of them were $5. So uh, to get that book for five bucks would be absolutely amazing because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. But uh, yeah, we should be able to register here in about two minutes. And I don't see anybody else here. So hopefully we will get first dibs. I will keep you guys posted and I might try and shoot some secret squirrel footage. All right, we got our number. We are number one. Unfortunately, I was talking to the lady and she was like, I told her I was there for the comic books and asked her if I kind of thumb through them. She said no. They took them to the comic shop last night and got them appraised. They actually have two Marvel Secret Wars number eight that they've got priced at like 60 or 70 bucks. So it's like, I, I don't know if this comic book thing's gonna work out here. But um, yeah, they did have some, they did have some records. But the thing is like, they have a Wolverine one and a Wolverine two that they've priced at like 50 and 55 bucks. So they took all those comics to the comic shop and basically any comic that was worth any money, they priced it individually. And all the rest of the books, the commons and the beat up, you know, destroyed books, those are all like four bucks. But they have a box of records, like a couple tubs of records. And um, hopefully there's some good stuff in there. They, it said there was Michael Jackson records in there, which I'm not a big fan of Michael Jackson, but I do know they sell. So I'm thinking like, you know, R&B, hip hop from the 80s and 90s, maybe some Motown, but I, I don't know. We'll have to get in there. We're about a half hour away. Okay. <laughs> so we, we go to this estate sale. And it's not something that I normally do is wait around for estate sales, but you know, it's getting to the end of garage sale season. This was sort of the only thing going that day, the only thing happening. So I stopped by and I really wanted these comic books, man. I really wanted that Marvel Secret Wars. And when I was standing in line, let me put it like in a time frame reference, right? So I get off work at seven o'clock. This place is literally like 10, 15 minutes away from my work, but it doesn't start until nine. So I get there, you know, 7, 10, 7, 15. I see people uh, starting to, you know, take stuff in the house. They, they work there. Uh, they're, they're running the auction or whatever, the sale. So I go up and they're like, oh, hey, you know, you're looking for anything specific and da, da, da. I said, yeah, uh, I'm here for the comic books. The lady, you know, texted me last night, the, the house owner. She said, yeah, they're four bucks a piece. She's like, oh, no, no, we took them and had them, like, uh, appraised at a, at a comic shop. So now all these comics, instead of being $4, you know, they were $50, $60, $10, you know, whatever it was. And uh, all, basically all the beat up, you know, comics were, you know, four bucks. And they put the stickers right on the comics. So... You know, I've, I've never done this before. I've never, I've never done this type of estate sale before, where they, you line up and they give you a number, right? And then you come back at nine o'clock and you line up in your number. So, this is what I thought was going to happen. I figured, oh, you're number one. Okay, what do you want to look at? The comic books. Okay, go over to the comic books. Number two, what do you want? Oh, you're here for the records. Go look at the records. And then you couldn't like, like I would have first dibs, right? Like you think, okay, I'll go over there. Give me, give me a minute, give me 30 seconds, a minute to thumb through these comic books, uh, maybe make my selections before everybody else. No, they let everybody in at the same time. There's like 30 people there. Oh, yep, take your ticket. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. So then you have like 15 guys huddled around these two boxes of comics. I, I decided to skip it. Uh, I went right to the records. I picked up like uh, some Marvin Gaye records, which I already sold, uh, some Richard Pryor records, which I already got rid of, but... Um, yeah, it, it was kind of disappointing, and I, I was kind of red hot uh, on the chip about it, to be honest with you, because, you know, I'd waited, I'd talked to the people, I was like, you know, this is kind of what I'm here for, and um, yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. So I doubt I'll ever do one of those type of auctions again, 
But let's check out some of the non-video game related stuff that we picked up this week. Okay, here's the non-video game related stuff. Let's just knock this out real quick. Uh, these Disney plushies, if they're in nice shape, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick them up every time. 99 cents on that. Ugh. So it uh, looks like, throw it up online, you know, 10 bucks or something like that. Free shipping. Saw this was pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. A Crayola Flash 110 camera. Uh, I don't think there's any film in there. And I don't even know if they make film for this. <laughs> Everything's digital. But uh, pretty cool novelty item. Got that for a dollar. Toy section. I have no idea why they used a bag this big for a handful of Pokemon toys. But for three dollars, we went ahead and picked them up. That's going to be resale fodder. I don't mess with Pokemon. Saw this, got very excited. These are uh, Tailspin toys from 1999. There's a uh, Molly, Wildcat, five of them in there. Looks like they go for about seven or eight bucks, nine bucks a piece. I uh, saw this little guy. I remember these from back in the day. Kellogg's used to put these in their cereal boxes for Tailspin, Darkwing Duck, Gummy Bears, uh, DuckTales. And they made, I don't know, like six or eight figures for each each cartoon. They're not very expensive, like I said. You can get the whole set of those for maybe 30 or 40 bucks. And I think there's like 40 or 50 of them. So they're, they're pretty cheap. I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to throw it in the uh, vintage shelf of my curio cabinet. With all my uh, cool retro toys. And uh, that'll be cool. Add a little, little kit there. This is what I got most excited about when I went into Goodwill. I saw this thing of cars. And I kind of picked it up. I was like, okay, cars. I didn't know if this little guy right here was a transformer. But when I flipped it over, I went, oh, there's a Decepticon logo. So I didn't even really look at the bag any further. I just figured we'll buy it and we'll open it on an episode of Toys, Legos, and Collectibles. Starting to get a little bit more in the vinyl. Uh, 99 cents for Talking Heads. I'll probably give it a listen and then uh, flip it. Doesn't look like it goes for that much more. You know, maybe like 10 bucks or something. Uh, but uh, yeah, pick this up. This is the last thing. It's a Logitech M22 portable speaker system for your iPod and other MP3 players. Uh, like I said, six bucks on that, brand new factory sealed. So hopefully we can get about 30 bucks for that. That's gonna do it. Let's get to them games. All right, so yeah, a little thin this week. Uh, so I go to Goodwill and uh, it's one of their Monday, I wouldn't even think it. But like every like sixth Monday or whatever it is, uh, everything's like half off, right? So it doesn't matter what color tag it is, uh, how long it's been sitting on the shelf, it's just, it's all half off. So I walk back to the electronic section like this, walking back there, and uh, I spy with my beautiful blue eyes sitting on the shelf right in front of me, this bad boy right here, a Hitachi cassette deck uh, radio boom box and uh i was like sweet so i immediately plugged it in i uh, got the radio to work they didn't have any tapes this goodwill didn't have any tapes so i couldn't test the tape player but the next thrift store that i went to had uh billy idol vital <laughs> idol on cassette and uh, i bought it oh it's billy idol it's two bucks but i bought it because you know i mean it's billy idol what are you gonna do but I bought it to test this out, and then I'm gonna keep that. That way I got it for, for testing purposes. But yeah, man, these uh, these little boom boxes are pretty awesome. It's kind of dirty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it was $3 and then it was half off. So I got this this Hitachi uh, for $1.50, and in case anybody cares, it's model TRK6800H. So yeah, it takes six D cell batteries, man. Pretty awesome to find that. I'm gonna clean it up. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell it right away or if I'm gonna, you know, enjoy it, kind of keep it in the, the game room. Keep keep it retro, as Marcus would say. But uh, yeah, the only game that we picked up this week, my son and I went out to thrift stores uh, last Monday and we went, I don't know, like eight places. And uh, the only thing that I found was this copy of Gauntlet Seven Sorrows at Buybacks, and we got that for one dollar. So that was cool. Complete, I have this game loose, so now we have a complete copy. But it was literally the only game that was out there this week. Uh, tough, tough surfing out there, man. You know what I'm saying? So guys, that is gonna do it. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Let me know if you've ever been frustrated by going to that type of an estate sale before. 
I was I was driving home because remember, I, like I said, I get off work at seven. This thing started at nine nine uh, a.m. and then I got to drive home, which is like another 30, 35 minutes. Eat something, go to bed, and then I got to be back at work at nine p.m. So, you know, I was I was basically killing myself, staying up, you know, past my bedtime, just so I could try and get this comic book. But whatever. But if you have a story like that, leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you on the next one. Take care of yourself.